In this video, it is important to know some of the most important hidden features that you don't know that Microsoft uh, Excel comes in with. So let's go through the, the list that we have here. We have 10 features that we are going to go through. So stay tuned until the end of this video and be able to learn more about Excel. So the first one we have to do is, it is called camera. Did you know that Microsoft Excel comes with the camera? So here it is for example, we can take a clip here and then we can paste it onto our overview here and be able to have a, a total control of all the sheets by taking images and be able to list them as many as you can. So this camera is not enabled by default, but you have to enable it. So how do you enable the camera? So what you need to do is that you have to right click here and then you say customize ribbon. And then under customize ribbon, you come here and say commands not in the ribbon. And then you come down here and you look for camera as you can see here and then you click add so make sure that you create a, a group so in this case uh, let's create a new group here called um let's name and say my latest features and we click okay and then we say okay here so if you come here to the tab here and then we look for uh, that uh, title that would have added that group here and then we'll be able to see that we have inserted the camera here and, and then we're able to see uh, and use the camera and then the next one that we're going to go through is called 3d formulas so 3d formulas they allow you to be able to to have uh, ranges of totals from a, a different sheets that are combined on the different same view so for example let's clear out all this here Okay, this contents right so one we have totals from a uh, b3 from store tech from other items and then from store agric and then from store engine so what we're going to do is we're just going to enter a range from store tech and then this the um, and link it to a store engine which means all these that are in between here they're going to be added here on the overview so here we come here and say equals to and then we say sum and then once we open it then it means that uh, we, we can just uh, click on the first one here and then we say a double colon here and then we say uh, also click here to add store engine and then uh, we come and do this here and then make sure that uh, we've put this within all, all the codes that are within here the single codes for the name a single code for the name here and then you put an exclamation mark and you say b3 remember that b3 that we had included there at the, at the beginning and we do okay so once we've done this it means that all the totals from a store take here until store engine they are all added within at this range then we can double click here to wrap clear further and we have our totals so this is how useful you can use our 3d formulas so let's go to the next one uh, we call it go to special so go to special allows you to have a lot of issues that you can be solved with this uh, function that comes automatically in microsoft um, excel so for what, what you need to do to use go special is make sure that you select uh, the range here and then as you can see here we actually have more options here for formatting and then we are here is for deleting but what we want to do is to come in find and select and then we come and go to special so as you can see here we want to delete all the blanks so we click on blanks and then we click ok so once we've done this right click here and then we say delete and then we say ok it means all those blanks are now gone We're only left with cells that contain uh, um, values text or numbers so that's how you use go to special it's not only limited to blanks but this as you can see it can also do other app options like to have a current region a current array selection formulas to identify even objects you can use the go to special and then they are what you call a secular references so secular references they allow you to be able to refer a cell to to use uh, to be included within um the, the the formula that you'll be including for example if you want to say equals to let's say f3 f3 plus 5 once we do this we're going to get an error and says this 
are one or more circular references. So for you to be able to do this uh, calculation of this formula, what you need to do is you have to go to options, right? File, and then you come into options. So under options, then you come into formulas. So you make sure you enable iterative calcula calculation and you say OK. So once you've done this, you can see that our cell or our, our, our function is now opening. So once you click aside and we click it here, it means it's able to, it's going to be able to increase by including uh, cells, uh, including itself to iterate numbers to go on and go on. So if you press F9 on your keyboard, it will keep on increasing. By like pressing F9 on your keyboard, it will keep on increasing the numbers until as many as many as you can. You can randomize and then you can even replicate um, this formula here and then you can keep on pressing F9. It will keep on changing all this uh, timely once uh, without having an uh, issue. So this is how you use circular references. And then there's this uh, life saver issue, what you call auto save. So auto save by default in Microsoft Excel allows you to be able to save uh, your work within 10 minutes. So what if you wanted to adjust the time and be able to make sure you capture everything in case your computer shuts down you're using a computer that that is having a bad battery a desktop that that is not having a ups so for you to be able to do that you come into file and then under options right you make sure that yeah, you come here to save and then under save you can adjust your time here here by default is 10 you can even set it to one minute and you click ok that means auto save now saves your documents automatically after every one minute this is a lifesaver and then let's move on to cu custom list so custom list they allow you to be able to um, avoid a repetitive task or repetitive typing in this case let's look at this example if you come and type january right once you, you click and drag you see that it auto fills until december right so you can also do that so how do you do that so if you come into file right and then options and then you come into advanced so under advanced make sure you scroll down until you see where it says custom list here so as you can see here you have the custom list then it means you're able to to create your own uh custom list within a microsoft a, a excel but then under general here it means we can edit our custom list so in this case we want to to import our own custom list here so if we if we come here and say select here and then we want to select these ones right and then we click here and then we say import so if you import you will see your list there here and then you say add and then uh, once you've done add it means that you can click ok and you've done ok so the next time you come here and write science right and then you click elsewhere and then as you replicate you see that those languages they keep on appearing you are not even limited to start science only you can come and start right mates here so once you've turned mates here you can be able to continue to replicate so this is how you're able to create your own custom list so that you can be able to automate uh, your work and then there's this next feature that is called developer tab so developer tab allows you to be able to access other features that normal uh, Excel users don't usually use. So in, in this example, I have my developer tab enabled here, which means I am able to insert, uh, be it um, checkboxes. For example, you can come here and say, and insert the checkbox that you can actually interact with here, or you can insert uh, radio buttons here that you, you can insert. So you can use it for many other features. Then you can also create macros within the developer tab. So for you to enable a developer tab, it is not enabled by default. So you have to enable it. So if you come into file options, right? And then as, as you come here and customize ribbon, and then here you make sure that it is ticked, right? So if I click OK here, the developer tab dis disappears. But if I come into advanced options here, and then I say customize ribbon, and I say developer tab and you click OK, automatically the developer tab appears. So this is how you enable the developer tab in Microsoft Excel so that you are able to improve your skills. And then what we need to do is that for you to, to know the properties of your document, there's what you call advanced file properties. We're able to read uh, the properties of your document and you are also able to edit uh, the information so that your document carries more weight, more information. So under information here, 
and then you come at properties and then you say advanced properties so here you can even add the title the subject the manager the company whatever you want to add be the statistics the content as you can see you can add even custom uh, information like checked by who and then you can add values within it and then you can also look under summary you can put hyperlinks keywords comments and all that and then once you've done that you click ok you can even put a thumbnail on your document so this is how you use advanced file properties to be able to excel and then let's move on to the next um, feature called indirect uh, formula so indirect formula allows you to be able to reference to a cell name that is not included uh, within so in this case we want um f7 to be able to be to be linked or f5 to be able to be linked with within a uh, excel um awesome so if you come here and we say i let's say equals to and we say indirect indirect then um, we press tab and then we say and then we say i5 i5 then we close and press enter you see that it does not uh, reference to this uh, k5 that is written within a i5 but it references to the text that is within uh, the k5 which means k5 uh, is this reference here which means k plus 5 here it meets on our sum as you can see the row number 5 in the k5 here so if we if if we put any other cell that is referenced within uh, uh, this example for example we can come here and say want to move on to uh, maybe say yes so this is uh k k7 and then we say k7 here so once we come here and then we double click to to to, to change it then you say i7 and we press enter which means it references to the name that is written within the cell instead of pointing to the cell that would have written so this is how you use indirect formulas to bounce off to pick up a cells that are opposite and then the last one is what to call named ranges so named ranges they allow you to be able to name um, ranges of cells and be able to to give them uh, a, a certain name that you can reference to for example in this case we want to get um the totals for this uh this uh, uh, sales here so once you've uh, selected them all as you can see the total here is 110,466 but here let's come and say we uh, want to give this uh, a name range is one called totals totals for sales right so once you've done this we press enter and then it means that we have effected a totals for sales here so if we come here and say equals to and then we say sum here and then we, we say a uh, totals for sales as you can see it appears here it should appear in blue and be able to select the range and then we click ok and press enter we'll be able to get 110,466 the same if we press alternative and equals to and press enter we still get the very same total that we have gained within that cell range so these are some of the tips and tricks that um that are hidden that usually excel um don't even show you or tell you but you have to explore them on your own so this is how we, we, we are going to do it so this is the part one watch out for part two hope we'll be able to explore more of these features so i would like to say thank you for now and see you in the next video please remember to subscribe bye and ciao